morning, we want to introduce you to someone extraordinary. She's a third grader who has overcome incredible odds, and she has written six of her own books. She is resilient, she is kind, and she wants to help change the world for the better. Brooke Thomas has her amazing story. She's the kind of person that you just want to be around. Right. She's fun to be around. So I will put this here. And now take out my book. Kiara is like many third graders, bubbly, outgoing, and excited, but it hasn't always been that easy for her. There were a lot of tears last year. Kiara was diagnosed with dyslexia, a learning condition that can make it difficult to read. Dyslexia affects 43 million Americans, one in five students. And even though it's common, it's made Kiara feel like she didn't always fit in. I felt like that I was like left out and I felt really scared and I just felt like that no one could, that I couldn't be any level. When the pandemic started, Kiara's mom worried that her daughter would fall behind. So she decided to come up with a plan to keep Kiara engaged and maybe even get her to enjoy reading. I figured let's get her imagination going. Um, reading is a struggle, so I wanted her to find joy in books. So I kind of figured let's mesh the two, get her writing her own books. Picked up the glasses. That simple plan to help her find that joy soon turned into much more. Kiara loved writing. In fact, she's now written six books, all based on lessons she's learned in her own life. At the end of every book, she has questions where the readers, you know, her peers can kind of answer the questions about the lessons that they're learned. So it's, it's a super engaging book um, and it has activity pages like a word search or coloring pages. But the most important lesson of all, Teaching kids that books are fun and that reading isn't just about reading. You can also find lots of pictures and animals. Good. <laughs> and it's not just writing that Kiara has come to love. Her mom says she now looks forward to reading both at home and at school. She loves reading with grandma every night. Um, she's not frustrated and when it's her turn to read. Um, and I, I see a huge, huge imp improvement. And I just want to see her every day, the smile, the more bubbly she gets every day. It seems to be she likes it and I want her to enjoy Joy coming to school every single day. Kiara's family hopes her story will inspire others, no matter how young, to follow their passion. I think the hope is just to inspire other kids that starting a business at eight years old is not something that's not doable and finding your passion is definitely something that you can do as early as eight years old, if not younger. So Kiara's sixth book is on the way. It's she's incredible. incredible. She's. I mean, we were talking about it during the break, right? We were just talking if about how you can how help a kid. That it was just mm -hmm. that much of a little turn, a little pivot. Yeah. For her to see herself in a new light. Yeah, and it all starts with listening to the kid. Yeah. Listening to the little girl. Yeah. Acknowledging what's going on and just like redirecting. Yeah. And now she is a writer. She's an author, <laughs> and she loves reading. Yeah. So all of her books are actually the sixth one is on the way. They're available for purchase on Amazon and her website, Kiwi Cares Collections. Oh. And if that was not enough to inspire you, how about this? All of the money mm -hmm. that she's raising from the proceeds of her books, they're donated to a different charity of Kiara's choice. She gets to choose. Okay, she's a charitable kid, too, I mean, right? come through. <laughs> Three, they're great. Just saying. Imagine we're just going to be by sixth grade. She I is know. really incredible. Eight years old is so young. We can and, all yeah. find our purpose, and it doesn't matter how young. Thank you for that, Brooke. Absolutely. It really, I think yeah. that was the little dose of inspiration we needed today.